Ramada. We got our three courses here. We have our first course right now, and then we're gonna have to also try some chips and salsa. We're gonna have Alicia, our special guest, our assistant new, our assistant sports director for Lantern TV. She's gonna try our um, the three salsas here. So let's just go ahead and dig right in, guys. All right. So the first salsa we have is this red salsa. So let's see. I like it, but it almost has this like sweet flavor. You know, red salsa is typically just like the normal traditional salsa, but this has a little like sweet kick to it. But I like it if you're more into that sweet side, then I think someone like that would really enjoy it. Um, I'm a salsa verde person, so let's try it. I really like that. <laughs> if you love cilantro, then this is the salsa for you because you can definitely taste all the cilantro in there. It's almost like that cilantro lime flavor. So I really like that. Typically salsa verde is a little bit more spicy. This isn't spicy at all. Also the red one isn't spicy. So let's try this brown one. We're not quite sure what this one is. Um, Looks like chickpea. Yeah. It's different. It has a spicy kick to it. I'm a spicy person. Um, it's definitely hitting me now. So if you don't like a lot of spicy, then maybe this one's not for you. Um, it almost, I can't even tell exactly what the flavor is. Mm. I have no clue what it's made out of, but it's the spicier salsa. So if you're into that, then it has a really good flavor and taste. So overall, all three are pretty good. It's just whatever your preference is. Will you rate it out of 10? Um, I definitely like that salsa verde. That's like a nine or a 10 for me. Oh, wow. Um, the other two are not top ones. I think they're a seven or eight, but I really like the salsa verde because I like that cilantro lime taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. I'm usually a, like, a, like a traditional salsa kind of fan. Um, I can do like verde, salsa verde, but this, this spicy one, I'm gonna try it just for like the sake of it. I'm not a big spicy person, but just for the kick of it. So here's like the traditional like salsa. I like that. Yes, I like that. I like mild things, it tastes very mild, it's still saucy, like I like that, it's like a little, song, a little, little dance, I like that, okay, salsa verde here. Yeah, I, I'm not as excited for this one, I mean... I think, like Alicia said, it has a lot of cilantro. I'm not a huge cilantro person, so I definitely get they get that feel for this salsa. It's a little bit more spicy. Um, I'm gonna really take that little bit of a kick. It just kind of like let me down. I really wasn't that big of a fan for that one. All right, so here's the here's like the real one, this spicy one. Okay, just a little. Oh my god, I feel like that's too much. Okay. Not too bad. Not too, too sp <laughs> It crept up. Yeah, it, it creeps up on you. Mm -mm. It's really bad. <laughs> you have coat. You can no. Have some no. Things. No. That's a no. No. It's only for the spicy lovers. Oh, I can still taste. No, I'm sad. So, I don't like that one. I was, also, I don't like spicy things, so that was really a no for me. Um, if I had to say that pick the best one, it would definitely be the red one. I'm more sweet, like I like the more mild things, so that would definitely be my top pick. Uh, if I had to rate all the sauces out, like overall, this would definitely be like a nine and a half out of ten. The salsa verde would definitely be like a six out of ten, and the spicy brown one would definitely be like a three out of ten for me. Just like I said, I don't like spicy, so. But overall, the red one, it's a winner for me. Excited, honestly, to try these salsas. I'm Mexican. Um, to my understanding, this is supposed to be some sort of like Mexican fusion pa fusion place. And um, honestly, I know like Alicia already went through her like 
uh, kind of like recap of the salsa. And I honestly, I love cilantro. Um, so I have a feeling I'm gonna kind of like the green one, but I'm just gonna dig in here and I'm gonna go um, with the red salsa first. You gotta get a good amount on there because I'm not, okay, I'm not gonna say that, but when you're Mexican, you have to prove yourself, I guess. All right, so I did like Alicia's feedback about that. I do taste a little bit more of a like a sweet kick to it, kind of like maybe a barbecue or like a mesquite. So definitely something that like I wouldn't say is traditionally in like a Mexican salsa, but I will say I do like it. Um, it's kind of refreshing, I would say. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the under, other end of my chip here, and I'm gonna go into the salsa verde. And see how I like this one. Yeah, this one, I do like. I actually, all right, they're doing pretty well so far. I do like this one, I approve. I'm actually gonna set this chip down and go in with another one. Into this last one here. Um, I'm not I'm not really excited about this one, honestly. It doesn't really like, at least from like everybody else's reviews, it doesn't really seem like something I would like, but I'm gonna try it anyway. God, you got a lot. I don't think it's that spicy. Like, I really don't. It's good. I like this. All right, so I'm gonna just give you like a quick like recap of what I thought of the salsas. This one, I'll probably give a seven out of 10. I thought that was really nice. That was unsurprising to me. Um, and then for the salsa verde, I'll probably give that one an eight out of 10. I really like that. Um, I'd say it's a good one. Um, good to kind of like traditional one. And you, like um, she was saying, you can really taste the cilantro. For this last one, I would say it doesn't really like, you're not really like sure about like what it's gonna taste like. Um, it kind of does look like a, mild, a milder salsa before you bite in there. But I will say I did enjoy that one, but this is only for the true spicy lovers or Latinos, whatever you are, you will probably not enjoy this unless you really can handle it. I like that, that was like a nice little kick to start off the meal. Um, overall, I thought these salsas were probably like an 8 out of 10. Alright guys, so my first course here was El Jefe Salad, which has mixed greens, black beans, queso fresco, carlocado, pico. Um, it does come with bacon, however I decided not to get that, I'm not really a bacon person. And then a creamy lime dressing. Um, so basically the reasoning for me getting the salad was because it has a creamy lime dressing. Like I said, I am Mexican, and if you're Hispanic, you probably really love lime. So, with this having lime in it and some of my favorite other, um, I guess, like Mexican um, attributes and food, it has avocado um, as well as the queso fresco. Um, so, I'm really excited to dig in here. However, I did also get this blueberry lemonade, um, so I'm gonna try that really quick. So, the lemonade is actually made here, like in house. Um, so that actually surprised me. I don't like usually think like a lot of restaurants in Columbus will like make their own lemonade um, just because we're in the Midwest, but I'm gonna try it. Mm, okay, I like that. I think it's really good. It, it tastes pretty fresh, honestly. Um, the one thing I will say, like, I feel like the blueberries are probably just in there for a decoration because I can't really like taste them too much, but. I don't know, I'd probably give this drink like a 7 out of 10. It's pretty yummy, um, so I really enjoy that. Alright, so moving on here, I'm going to try the salad. And see, I'm going to get some like a little bite of avocado in there as well. Okay. Alright, probably cut the salad. But... So I did take a pretty big bite, but I, I'm in love with this salad, honestly. Um, like I said last night, I'm a salad person, and this salad is really good. Like cilantro, uh, the lime dressing is really there. Um, the avocado, I love that because it adds like some authenticity to it. Um, honestly, the queso fresco on top, this salad is a 10 out of 10 for me. Probably one of the best salads I've ever had. Um, and I know like I am a little biased here because I love lime dressing but this salad is 
really amazing. I hope it's on the regular menu. I know it's on the restaurant restaurant week menu, but I'm really hoping it's on the regular menu too, so I can come back and have it whatever. Um, so yeah, overall I'd probably give this salad a 10 out of 10. I really love it and I'm so excited to dig in. So for my first course, I got the Nada's mac and cheese. So it has roasted poblano, jalapeno, and garlic breadcrumb. Um, so yeah, I love mac and cheese. It's one of my favorite foods ever. So I'm really excited to try their little twist on mac and cheese. So let's see. So honestly, I don't see anything special about it. Um, yeah, maybe I should try a little bit more with the jalapeno, but there really isn't too much flavor to it. I don't really have, the cheese is not kind of like the Spanish feel or like Mexican feel. So it's just a standard white mac and cheese with breadcrumb. Um, it doesn't wow me. I've had a lot of good mac and cheese in my day. I might be biased. So maybe that's why I don't like it as much, but there isn't too much to it. I think it's just very plain and simple in terms of mac and cheese. Yeah. Um, I guess my rating for it would just be like a five. It's not bad, but it's not great either. It doesn't wow me. Um, so yeah, hopefully my second course wows me a lot more than this mac and cheese did. So I also got the Nada's mac and cheese and I'm a huge mac and cheese fan. I really, really love it. Uh, I'm a big cheese lover just in general. Like I put cheese on pretty much everything. Um, like cheese on tacos. Like if I go to other places, I always have like all the cheese on my tacos. So I'm a big cheese lover. I love mac and cheese. So I'm really excited to try this mac and cheese. It has to, it's supposed to have more of like um, a Mexican, you know, twist on it. And since mac and cheese is more Southern style and me, you know, me being African-American, it's, it's really big in my culture. So like kind of mixing and like fusing those two things, I kind of want to, I'm excited to see how like those two, um, you know, fuse together. So let's go ahead and dig in. Okay. So I thought it was okay. Um, I wish there was more cheese, honestly. It gets it's really, really a lot of shells and not enough like the, the, the shells to the cheese ratio I'm really not a fan of. I did get a bite with the um, with the jalapeno and that definitely gave it its like extra flavor. But if I didn't have it with the jalapeno, I feel like I wouldn't really get that Mexican vibe to it. Um, if I rate it out of 10, I'd give it about a 6 out of 10 just because um, I really did like the extra kick with the jalapeno. But I wish that there was a little bit more cheese on the mac and cheese uh, just for me as a cheese lover. So yeah, 6 out of 10. tacos um, I'm super excited it, it was actually recommended to me by my waiter so uh, that's why I went ahead and went this route I'm actually usually like a, a hard taco person so this is kind of like a switch up for me to get soft tacos um, I've never I've only had fish tacos one other time so I'm super excited to like, kind of get out of my comfort zone um, it says that it's like beard batter like hakai fish um, guacamole lime cabbage and pico de gallo so I love pico, um, I love fish, and everything, I like guac as well. So everything I really, really like, so hopefully it's really, really good. I'm just gonna like... Yes! Wow! That's good. Yes, this is good. 
I like this. And I really don't like to try new things. Like, I'm the kind of person that no matter where I go, I always get like the same thing, like meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, that's it on like a hard shell. So it's like really, really out of comfort zone for me. But I really like it. Like, this is really good. I give this like two thumbs up. If I had to rate this, I would definitely give it like a nine and a half out of 10. It's super good. Very flavorful. The fish tastes very, very fresh. Like, it's crispy. I still get like that really fresh um, fish taste. And like everything is really complimentary towards each other. So yeah, definitely. I recommend this. Super good. Okay, so I also got the beer battered fish or the Baja fish. Um, and I'm really excited about this because it has all my favorite things. I love like this type of coleslaw and the pico de gallo and guacamole. So I'm really excited to try it. Normally I'm a chicken tacos person, but what I when I saw what was on the taco, I really wanted to try it. I'm not typically a uh, fish taco person, but it's also fried fish and anything fried is good to me pretty much. So let's try it out. So I really like the combination. Um, the guacamole is really good, just your typical guacamole. I really like the coleslaw with it. It goes, it pairs really nicely with the fish. Um, I think those two go together. Um, the tortilla is just a typical flour tortilla, but I think altogether this is just a really good combination. Um, it didn't like wow me over the edge. It's not like the greatest taco I've ever had, but it's really good. Um, the fish is cooked really well too. Um, and I don't typically eat fish that often. So for me to say that, it's a pretty good fish taco because I've had some bad fish tacos in my days. So I really like it. I would rate it about um, an eight. I think it's really good, but yeah, it's a, the perfect little combo for a taco. I recommend it to anyone coming. Okay, in. so I'm on my official meal here and I got the braised chicken enchiladas. Um, so it comes with citrus marinated chicken, sweet corn, black bean, uh, chihuahua cheese, diablo salsa, and um, crema, if you will. Um, so I'm honestly really tr uh, excited to try this. Uh, enchiladas are like my favorite. My dad makes some really, really good enchiladas. So um, I'm gonna be definitely like putting um, these up to my dad's standards. Um, like I said, his enchiladas are the best I've ever tasted. Anytime I'm home, that's what I want. It's like comfort food for me. So I'm gonna be rating this pretty harshly. We'll see if they can um, just kind of like stand up to that example that my dad set. All right, I'm gonna dig in here. All right, I'm gonna try and like make a tiny bite. Don't want, don't want to like grab too much here. All right, so mine like took a little bit longer because I had to cut it, but let's dig in here. Yes, I didn't cut it that well, but I'm gonna get some sauce on there. See what it tastes like. Okay, they're pretty good. I will say, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So I didn't really taste any of like the citrus in there, but I'm pleasantly surprised by the sauce. Um, it does really taste like a traditional enchilada sauce, and I will say it does take taste fresh. I know you can get enchilada sauces like in a can and stuff. This seems to me like they made it in house, and I like that. Like I'm a fan of that. Um, I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of a bite just because I don't think I got any like big pieces of chicken in there, and I really want to like see if I can grab some of that citrus in there because that's that's one of the reasons I actually got this is because it has like citrus in it. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, so there I think I got a little bit more of that like flavor in there. Um, but yeah, I'm honestly, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, I'd probably, up against my dad's, I'd probably have to give it a seven. But I'm really, I'm like, I'm loving the presentation and I'm really pleased with the way it tasted. So I'll give it a thumbs up. So I got the AGF donuts for dessert. AGF stands for almost guilt free. Um, so they're like supposed to be kind of like a guilty pleasure, but they're supposed to make you like feel better about like, you know, eating dessert. Um, just to like start off, like, they like, mm, they smell like amazing. Oh, 
I feel like I get like a candle this scent, like I would like be so happy. It just, it, they smell so good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like bite into one. They're super soft. Mmm. Yeah. So it's like a cinnamon like cake that they use for the donut. And I think it's like powdered sugar. But it tastes really good. It, it just kind of tastes like a. Like. I can get like, like a coffee cake kind of like um taste it's really really good it's very very soft i like the powdered sugar on the outside like i said the smell is really good it also came out really really hot and fresh so i have to give this a rating out of 10 i would give it about eight and a half out of ten really good dessert so i also got the little donuts um dessert is my favorite meal i always have room for dessert so i'm really excited um, but my first impression, you can smell it. It smells so good. They're like warm. But I'm not too big of a cinnamon person, so I don't know how much I'm going to like it. Um, and they also seem pretty like thick and filling, even though they're supposed to be like guilt free. So I'm going to see how I like these. I can't swallow this. <laughs> it tastes like that cinnamon bread, but I don't know which one. Um, but it tastes like a cinnamon bread. It's not bad, but I don't know if I can finish all three of these. This, the flavor is just too much for <laughs> too much for me. They just seem pretty filling. Um, it's not my number one preference for dessert. I'm more like an ice cream or chocolate person, so I probably should have tried the sorbet. But it's not terrible. They're really good warm. But um, I'm not the biggest cinnamon person, so I think that's why I don't enjoy it as much. So I would give it about a 7, though. It's not bad, but I've had way better dessert. Okay, so I'm on to dessert. We're on the last course here. Um, so I also got the AGF Donuts. Um, I really do love donuts. Um, they had a few other options. They had sorbet or gelato and uh, riz au lait. Um, that's sort of like a rice pudding, to my understanding. Um, However, donuts are some of my favorite things, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig in here. I will say I really like these; like they're bigger than like your average like donut hole, um, which is nice. So it's I think it's like a pretty good portion for a dessert. Um, and they also like everyone's been saying like they're pretty warm. Um, they got some powdered sugar on top, but anyway, I'm gonna go right ahead in here and dig in. So. <laughs> Okay, so I do like these. Um, I like the powdered sugar on like the outside the most. To me, that's like kind of like the most flavor going on here. Um, they are warm, which I like because it's kind of like a melt in your mouth kind of thing. But on the inside, I don't think it's like as sweet as the outside. I would say. Um, so I probably have to give it uh, probably like a five out of ten, honestly. Um, I'm I'm liking like how fresh they are and how warm. But overall, I think it could use a little bit more flavor on the inside.